Hello, and welcome to the 27th episode of LGBTQIA+, Heroes, Icons, Legends, and Events. This series of programs covers a wide variety of topics, such as the LGBTQ legends of men's and women's sports, artist and activist Gilbert Baker, and entertainers RuPaul, Sir Elton John, and Freddie Mercury. Asian Pacific American Heritage Month is celebrated every year in May. Today we'll talk about the historical, cultural, and societal impact of several prominent Asian Pacific American trailblazers. Japanese American actor and activist George Hisato Takai was born on April 20th, 1937 in Los Angeles, California. His father named him George after British King George VI, who was crowned shortly after George's birth. George's parents ran a very successful dry cleaning business. World War II, the deadliest conflict in history, began in September 1939. After the Japanese military attacked Pearl Harbor in Hawaii on December 7, 1941, U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt was under tremendous pressure to guarantee the safety of the United States, particularly the West Coast, and U.S. citizens. President Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066 on February 12, 1942, which affected German, Italian, and Japanese populations in the United States. Over the next six months, the U.S. military detained more than 100,000 people and moved them to camps and facilities with armed guards and barbed wire. Ten camps were set up across the nation, and about 120,000 people were interned in the camps during the war. About two-thirds of them were Japanese Americans who were born in the United States. George and his family were forced out of their home at gunpoint and were only allowed to take what they could carry. They were first kept in a horse stall at Santa Anita Park in Arcadia, California. They were then sent to an internment camp in Arkansas, and later they were confined in the Tool Lake War Relocation Center in Northern California. They were released after the war ended in 1945 and spent several years living on the street. The family had lost their business, their bank accounts, and their comfortable home. Eventually, George's parents saved enough money to buy a new home and rebuild their lives. George studied acting in the United States, England, and Japan after graduating from Los Angeles High School. He began his career in Hollywood in the late 1950s. In 1965, he was cast in his most famous role as Lieutenant Sulu, also known as Mr. Sulu, in the still popular TV series Star Trek. His role continued in the many Star Trek films. George came out as gay in 2005. In June 2008, George and Brad Altman, his partner of more than 20 years, were married in Los Angeles. George is a popular presence on social media and is an activist for LGBT rights and political causes. In 2012, George starred in the musical theater production Allegiance, which is based on his life story and his research into the Japanese internment camps during World War II. The title of the play refers to the loyalty questionnaire that the people held in the internment camps had to answer. Question 27 asked both men and women, young and old, whether they would be willing to serve in the U.S. military. Question 28 asked first if they would swear their loyalty to the United States, and second if they would forswear allegiance to the Japanese emperor. George has said that his experiences have strengthened his activism in politics and civil rights. Chinese-American journalist and activist Helen Zia was born in Newark, New Jersey in 1952 to first-generation immigrants from Shanghai. Helen was a member of Princeton University's first graduating class of women. She was a founder of the Princeton Asian American Students Association. Helen was a tireless anti-war activist and a proponent for women's rights. She attended medical school at Tufts University in Massachusetts from 1974 until 1976. Helen moved to Detroit, Michigan in 1976 and worked as a construction worker, auto worker, and community organizer, at which point she discovered her life's purpose as a journalist and writer. Tensions ran high in Detroit with the advent of imported Japanese cars. In 1982, 27-year-old Vincent Chen was at a bar with friends celebrating his upcoming wedding 
when he got into a fight with two other bar patrons. Vincent was beaten to death by the two men who were unemployed auto workers. They targeted him because he was Asian American. Helen played a pivotal role in bringing federal civil rights charges against the two auto workers. Her reporting of the case motivated the Asian American community to demand justice for Vincent Chin. Helen co-founded the group American Citizens for Justice, an Asian civil rights organization based in Detroit. Helen has received numerous awards for her groundbreaking journalism. Her latest book, Last Boat Out of Shanghai, The Epic Story of the Chinese Who Fled Mao's Revolution, was published in 2019. Helen is outspoken on issues of civil rights, women's rights, and LGBTQ rights. She married her longtime partner, Leah Shigamura, in June 2008, making them one of the first same-sex couples to marry legally in the state of California. Bradley Daryl Wong, professionally known as B.D. Wong, was born on October 24, 1960, in San Francisco, California, to parents of Chinese descent. His father was a postal worker and his mother was a supervisor for the phone company. B.D. attended Lincoln High School and starred in many school productions. He also attended San Francisco State University. B.D. made his Broadway debut in 1988 in the play M. Butterfly, a retelling of the story of Madame Butterfly. He stopped using his full name and eventually the punctuation for his initials in deference to the title of the play. The play won many awards, including several for him. He is the only actor to win the five major theater awards, the Tony Award, Outer Critics Circle Award, Drama Desk Award, Theater World Award, and the Clarence Derwent Award for the same role. BD has appeared in many TV shows such as Law & Order, Special Victims Unit, The X-Files, and Sesame Street. His films include Father of the Bride, Jurassic Park, and Mulan. He continues to work in theater. BD donates his time and money to several LGBT and arts charities, including Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS. He is openly gay. He married his longtime partner, Richard Schnorr, in New York City on October 7, 2018. American politician and academic Mark Allen Tacano was born December 10, 1960, in Riverside, California. He was the first of four children born to parents who had been detained in the Tool Lake War Relocation Center in Northern California during World War II. Mark attended La Sierra High School and was the valedictorian of his class. Mark graduated from Harvard University in 1983 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in government. He also attended the University of California, Riverside, and graduated with a Master of Fine Arts in Creative Writing. He taught literature in public schools for 23 years. Mark was a member of the Republican Party until he graduated from college and switched to the Democratic Party. In 2012, he ran for the U.S. House of Representatives and was elected, becoming the first openly gay, non-white member of the House. In 2016, he told an interviewer, quote, First openly gay person of color is a long moniker. I give people permission to use the word Gaysian. He continues to serve on House Committees for Veterans Affairs, Education and Labor, and the LGBTQ Plus Equality Caucus. He supports women's reproductive rights and gun control. American comedian, actress, and activist Margaret Moran Cho was born December 5, 1968 in San Francisco, California, to Korean-born parents. Margaret's parents owned Paperback Traffic, a bookstore in the Castro neighborhood in San Francisco. Margaret was frequently bullied at school because of her ethnicity and weight. She also suffered molestation from family members. She was expelled from Lowell High School for absenteeism and bad grades. Margaret auditioned for and was accepted at the San Francisco School of the Arts. She also attended but did not graduate from San Francisco State University. Margaret launched a career in stand-up comedy and made numerous TV appearances. She made a connection with her audiences with her rants about her culture clashes with her immigrant parents. She joked that her parents were conservative, but that, quote, of course, by Korean standards, they're Timothy Leary and Abby Hoffman. 
With her newfound success, Margaret was offered the lead role in the sitcom All-American Girl, in which she played a character very similar to herself. Studio executives were afraid that her brash style of comedy would alienate viewers, and they asked her to tone it down. She has since said, quote, for fear of being too ethnic, the show got so watered down for television that by the end, it was completely lacking in the essence of what I am and what I do. All American Girl was canceled after only 19 episodes. Margaret was depressed by what she viewed as her failure and she became addicted to alcohol and drugs and she developed an eating disorder. She eventually found sobriety. Margaret refocused her career and is now an author, playwright, actress, and podcaster. Margaret is openly bisexual and is deputized by the city of San Francisco to perform same-sex marriages. She advocates for LGBTQ rights and human rights. Dan Choi was born on February 22, 1981 in Tustin, California. His father was a Korean-American Baptist minister. Dan attended Tustin High School and was very active in student life. He was student body president, the marching band drum major, and he participated in the varsity swim team. After graduating, Dan attended the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. He graduated in 2003 with degrees in environmental engineering and Arabic. He served in Iraq and then transferred to the New York Army National Guard. Dan was discharged from the service after coming out publicly on the Rachel Maddow Show in 2009 at a time when openly gay people were not allowed to serve in the military. He protested against the don't ask, don't tell policy of the U.S. military and was instrumental in the repeal of the policy by the U.S. Congress. He is the spokesperson for Knights Out, a group of West Point alumni which supports the rights of LGBT soldiers to serve openly. He has applied to rejoin the U.S. Army and is still awaiting a ruling. To know more about these trailblazers and many others, Go to our website, GwinnettPL.org, to check out the following suggested items. Fight Like a Girl, 50 Feminists Who Changed the World, by Laura Barcella. From a whisper to a rallying cry, the killing of Vincent Chin and the trial that galvanized the Asian American movement, by Paula Yu. In praise of difficult women, life lessons from 29 heroines who dared to break the rules, by Karen Carbo. My Life, Growing Up Asian in America by the Coalition of Asian Pacifics and Entertainment. People of Pride, 25 Great LGBTQ Americans by Chase Klemesha. Queer There and Everywhere, 23 People Who Changed the World by Sarah Prager. Rise, A Pop History of Asian America from the 90s to Now by Jeff Yang, Phil Yu, and Philip Wang. Six Words, Fresh Off the Boat, Stories of Immigration, Identity, and Coming to America, edited by Larry Smith. We're Here, 30 Inspiring Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders Who Have Shaped the United States, by Naomi Hirahara. Also, visit our website's digital resources to discover Canopy, our streaming service. Canopy has a wide selection of films and documentaries about LGBTQIA topics. Thank you for watching.